Hello everybody, Doug Garda here at Pinview, and I just want to show you what I was working on today. Today, I was working on configuring the three brand spanking new switches that we purchased for our M&M building. Um, these are HP Aruba 2920-48G switches. 48 ports. Um, so 44 ports are dedicated PoE gigabit ports and we got four ports here and four ports here these are either or um, up to gigabit PoE or SFP um, modules um, so I mean if you have a cable plug in here you can't use this one if you have a module plug in this you can't use this one with the cable um, other than that, all these ports are available for use. Um, like I mentioned, this is a PoE switch, so all, and theoretically all 48 ports can be used for PoE. Um, realistically, you probably won't be able to use all 48 ports for PoE because the amount of devices you can plug in are dependent on the power needs of the device plugged in and how many devices you have obviously and how far down the network cable the device is the farther it is the more power needs to be delivered to it um, these switches have expansion slots on the back um, th this here here is stacking cables so basically we got uh, three stacking modules and you got the stacking cables for it and basically, switch one is connected to switch two, switch two is connected to switch three, switch three is connected back to switch one. The purpose of that is, once these are all stacked, this, even though it's three separate switches, it all acts as one switch unit. So you don't have three different IP addresses, and you don't have three different switches you have to configure. You configure all three at the same time. And as you can see, on this screen it's showing that. Now, what you can demonstrate here is you have this mode button. Right now, it's set to active. That means it shows all the active connections. Now, if I go to this, this shows all the full duplex connections. Like, there's three things plugged in here. They're all full duplex. So, of course, they'll be lit up. If I push this button. This is showing all the speeds, okay? This one here is blinking, so it means a flashy one's only 100 megabits per second. This one is solid, so that means this connection's a gigabit. This one's also solid, so that means this connection is a gigabit. Okay? Uh, if I hit this again, this will show all the connections are, are being powered by PoE. And right now, let's see, this one doesn't have a light. This one doesn't have a light. But take a look. This one has a light, and basically I have one of our brand new access points for the M&M building, which is already configured, plugged in to test the PoE, and it works. And of course, we've got other modes here. As you notice, as I'm hitting them, they all react because they're all considered one U. Now, this one's USR. I'm not sure what USR stands for. The book doesn't say it. I checked the manual. It doesn't say what user, I mean, what USR stands for. I thought it meant users, but I'm not sure that's the case because the only thing that the lights lit up is with the PoE device. So maybe it has something to do with PoE, but the book's not clear on that. I might have to uh, investigate that more to meet, see what that means. And of course, we go back to the defaults. Then we got the indicator lights here. PoE meaning the, the switch is providing power. Um, temperature means the switch is operating within a safe range. Fan means all the fans are operating. Then you got test, which lights up a test mode. Auxiliary port, we don't have anything plugged in auxiliary ports. And that's a locator mode, so that means if through the software I can tell it to turn on the locator light. You know, if you have if you have hundreds of these switches, you might not remember where it is, so that would light that one blue. A uh, COM port cable, a command a command cable, USB interfaces and the micro USB, a bunch of different options for configuring. Now what I mean by uh, expansion ports, here 
we got these two bays on each one. What these are for is 10 gigabit modules. Okay. When we upgrade the switches in the IT office to uh, newer equipment, one of the goals with that is to have 10 gigabit capabilities in those switches. So when that, when that happens, we'll simply put a 10 gig module in here in 10 gig fiber ports and SSP modules in here, and then we'll be able to connect the lower campus to the upper campus with a 10 gigabit connection, which is all obviously a lot faster than the one gig connection. And as I mentioned, all these ports, all these things are seen as one switch. So it doesn't matter why I have something plugged into it. It's, it's seen as same connection. As you know, there's no physical connection on this side between these switches. So if I, you know, obviously if I plug it into here, and I go, let's see, let's, let's ping the gateway. Obviously, you got a connection. And plug it in the next switch. Let's just pick a port, any port. Pick a card, any card. Okay. Do the same thing. Still got a connection and go to the switch number three let's go behind door number three okay then and we see we have a connection so all three switches are currently functioning now you notice i just already have the rack mount screwed up on uh, not screwed screwed onto this module here and the reason for that is because i like to know that this is number one and so this is the going to be the first connection and most likely all the fibers are going to connect to here that need to be serviced um, yeah beautiful and we got three power supplies here they're nice they're blowing a lot of air through the unit beautiful configuration very beautiful configuration very nice switches um, this is the first time I had fully PoE switches oh, they're brand new um, This is the first time I purchased, actually, first time I purchased brand new PoE switches that have more than like eight ports, <laughs> something like that. Um, so this this is a this is quite an investment for the school, and um, it'll serve us as many years. And and the plus is now the dorms will have faster internet, and which I'm sure the students are going like that because now we're upgrading from a hundred base switch to a gigabit switch so I'm sure the students are going to appreciate that well this is Doug I'll talk to you later